Hello friends and welcome. Today is uh, Sunday, August 28th, and it's really a very beautiful day here today. It's uh, just about 65 degrees or so, maybe a little bit warmer than that. And uh, you can hear the cicadas are still singing, so the cool weather hasn't deterred them at all. And uh, yeah, it's just turning out to be a very beautiful Sunday morning. It's, uh, it's about 9 o'clock. And uh, so far it's been a great weekend. I've uh, gotten a fair amount accomplished so far this weekend. And today I'm just hoping to, uh, to take it easy for a bit. Get caught up on a few uh, things I want to do rather than things I have to do. Um, so, got my uh, lean uh, crown achievement pipe here. And hey, hopefully you can see. This is the one that has the gold logo on it that I've been wanting to fix for a long time now. And uh, fortunately, uh, Gnome de Tube has shown a, a brilliant idea of using uh, metallic nail polish to fill in the stampings. Uh, I, I'd never thought of that. I've been using a, a tile grout marker, which is great if you're trying to fill in white, but if you're trying to fill in any other uh, colors or metallics, it, it's obviously not going to work very well because very few people have metallic grout. Uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm really looking forward to trying that. I just got to convince my wife to go out and buy me some uh, shiny gold nail polish now. And I am uh, really enjoying um, a bit more of that um, Samoy uh, Rizzo de Patron from uh, from Grandpa Cavendish, and as you can see, I don't have much of this left. Uh, really, really enjoyed this and smoking it quite a bit. But that's okay because uh, this is the remaining Samoy as the month of uh, Samoy, August, comes to an end. So we're, uh, we're certainly keeping to our hope of, uh, you know, just really focusing on that one tobacco this month. Uh, it's been it's been great. I've really enjoyed doing that. I've learned a lot about it. So uh, in a few days, I'll move on to whatever tobacco is going to be the tobacco for September, and uh, yeah, start another another uh, in-depth uh, study of that tobacco. So it's a lot of fun. So the one important thing I wanted to talk about a bit today is, um, and and a lot of people have had this on. I. I uh, I hope there's not any sort of fatigue over hearing about this because it's an extremely important point. Um, and that is that um, some uh, fellow YouTubers are, are going through a bit of difficulties down in uh, Louisiana with the, the recent flooding. Um, Nathan Campbell has posted some videos uh, showing the really the devastation in, in that area and the personal devastation that he, he's going through. You know, th thankfully. Everyone's happy and, and healthy, it appears, but uh, you know, the houses, uh, his house has essentially been gutted and requires a lot of work. So there's been some, some fundraising efforts. There's a GoFundMe page, and uh, I'm going to put a link to that down below. Uh, if, you, if you can, I, I think contributions would be really appreciated. Uh, if for whatever reason you don't want to do that, if, uh, if, you, if you'd rather do something else, I mean, the Red Cross is always a, a good option in times like these, uh, and I'm sure there's other um, other charities that uh, would be helping people in that region if you want to you know, have a, a broader impact. Uh, but, you know, Nathan being one of our own, I, I think it's, it's, it's great that we have an opportunity to, to help him out and uh, try to try to bring some good out of, out of this, uh, this tragedy, you know, which unfortunately, at least by my viewing of, of the news, really hasn't received as much attention as I think it deserves. Uh, it's, it's been kind of glossed over. Uh, only one of the presidential candidates took the time to, to visit, and uh, you, know, you can make what you will of that. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a, it was a significant uh, natural disaster, and uh, should be recognized as such. Well, unfortunately, my pipe has gone out, and I don't think my lighter is going to light again. I was having some difficulty getting it lit just as I started filming, and I was too lazy to get up and refill it, thinking, oh, surely I'll be able to keep a pipe lit through one video. Oh. 
lucky day. I try to go do something enjoyable today. I'd like to say I'd go to a movie, but honestly, I haven't seen any uh, any movies advertised that I that I want to see. So. Sorry, I'll let the airplane go. Over. And you can also hear. I'm pretty certain that's a cardinal singing. So a very, uh, very sweet voice. And of course, with the cottage. It's great. Somebody made the comment of, you know, doesn't it get maddening after a while? And it really doesn't. It, it sort of becomes part of the background that you can... It, it's actually a lot like, uh, like tobacco. You know, you get these things that are... If you want to pay attention to them, they're there and you can enjoy them, but... If you don't want to, they just sort of recede into the background and uh, sort of become part of the canvas. Uh, yeah. At least I've never minded them much. So I've made some more progress on the uh, the Artful Codger uh, corn cup pipe modification. And that's coming along... Uh, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm, I'm really happy with the way the shank is turning out now that I'm starting to shape it. Unfortunately, I do think we're going to have... Unfortunately, it's going to be two more videos before it's done. I was hoping to get it done in one, but uh, between the, the shaping of the shank, the uh, shaping of the stem, and the uh, coloring of the bowl, and then putting everything together and, and, and finishing it, uh, it's just going to have to be two videos. I could edit it all into one long video, but I wouldn't be done this Wednesday. We'd have to wait for another week, so I'd rather I'd rather put out two shorter videos, and, and they'll be you know they'll be substantial. There's a lot of stuff going on right now uh, in, in that project. It, it's it's not a not a simple project, but boy, it's been a lot of fun, and I've learned a lot doing it. Uh, and hopefully, you, you'll you'll feel the same way once you see it all come together. All right, guys, I think that. Uh, with that, I'm going to draw this weekend chat to a close. I hope you're all having a great weekend, and uh, have, a, have a great week ahead. So, until I talk to you again, uh, please do all take care of yourself, and I will look forward to talking to you again very soon. Goodbye now.